So, if you watched my last video, yes, I'm wearing the exact same outfit because this is only being filmed 25 seconds later. <laughs> um, I just got back from a shop at Irwin. Irwin, I don't know how you guys pronounce it here in the States. Um, but it is probably my new favorite shop. <laughs> I literally walked in and I was like, oh, I could go get some fruit and juice. And then I walked out. Well, I walked in and I picked up a basket, right? And I was like, do, 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 do. And then I was like, oh, this basket's getting really heavy. And then in like 30 seconds, I was like, I can't carry it. And because there was so much wonderful stuff that I wanted to try, duh. So I went and got a trolley and then was pushing the trolley around. And then my trolley was full. And then I rocked up to the like checkout chick and I was like, I'm really sorry. But I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> anyway, um, yes. So I've just done my little extensive shop. This right here, by the way, five bags. They're really big bags, but five bags cost me $315. And that's US. That's US. So in Australia, that's like more. It's like probably $400. Anyway, but I'm here for two weeks, so I can kind of justify it because one, health food costs a lot. Owen's very expensive and everything's like organic, fair trade. Eh? But most stuff there's also like vegan and gluten free. So for me, that is perfect. I was in heaven. I was literally in health heaven. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll dig in and I'll show you what I got. By the way, before I went into Irwin, just literally next door, is Lemonade Cafe in Venice. And I'm obsessed with their edamame salad. This one, it's got horseradish, carrot, chia seeds, and a whole bunch of edamame. Maybe some onion in there, beans, I don't know. But anyway, it's one of their vegan ones. And then these two were other vegan ones next to it. That's just avocado and tomato salad. And that one, I had no idea what it was, but it said it was vegan. And I was like, I'll give it a go. And this is from Vitamin Barn out at Malibu in the, the village, like not the one on the opposite side of the road from the beach, the one on the same side of the road. Anyway. Alrighty, so whew, here it is. And by the way, guys, if you wanna see my crib, kind of vlog like showing you around the Airbnb that I'm staying in you can look at my last video or my next video I don't know which order I'm gonna do it in surprise anyway um, yeah so this is my haul from Erwan Erwan I would say Erwan but Australians say everything wrong so well those are from lemonade but you know an avocado those are from the vitamin barn bags of avocados everything's so expensive here by the way it's absolutely ridiculous but cherry tomatoes, box of blueberries and berries. I wish these didn't come in plastic. I wish everything wasn't in plastic, but apparently it's not really avoidable here. So I'm gonna try to go to the farmer's markets when I run out of food and see what I can use with containers that I have here. But if anyone has any travel tips for limiting plastic, I would really love to know. Anyway, gourmet cheese. I don't normally use um, vegan cheese. I like to just use like more plant-based options. But I did also get some uh, vegan and gluten-free cauliflower pizza crusts that I really want to try making pizza with. And so I figured I'll splurge and use the vegan cheese on that. Hence why I got the mozzarella, because that melts well on pizza. Yeah, uh, vegan eggs, blueberries, on egg homestyle chickpea salad. So this I'm pretty keen to try. I reckon this would be like crackers maybe, or I don't even know. I don't know, I'll figure that out. Um, apples, I love apples. They're like pff, guilty pleasure. Apples and berries. How sad is that? Like if I could live off anything for the rest of my life, it would be berries, watermelon, apples, coconut water and juice and salads. Like that's really sad, I know, but it's true. Anyway, um, I got these dairy-free, gluten-free, coconut lime pops. Gonna see how they go if they haven't already melted. Coconut water, big thing of, of lettuce. These um, super green veggie burgers, gonna see how they go. Some tomato paste for my pizza. Juices, so I got a sunshine one, which is oranges, red apple, and carrots. I love carrot juice, I crave it. And the other one I crave is always beetroot, carrot, lemon, ginger. But this one is, oh, bananas, raspberries. Not what I thought it was, but still sounds delicious. I will take you. And then this one I think was like strawberries, coconut milk, and something. I don't know, I lost the tag, but it looks yummy too. Um, tofu, frozen blueberries, some corn thins. You guys have the exact same ones that we have at home. 
but you put the organic symbol on it and you charge more, which is silly, but I know that I like these. So, you know, yellow. Roasted garlic hummus, watermelon, some gluten-free bites, which I'm keen to try. I really like that everything vegan here has that symbol. That's really easy to navigate. Well done, America. Half bath, poof. Um, a couple of these little Gurana cashew based vegan dairy free energy balls. One with Gurana and one mango cashew. Um, some tamari brown sesame. Oh, the little book. Tamari sesame crackers. Some smoky tempeh strips, which is fake and bacon. Again, not really usually into the fake meats but whilst in Rome slash America. Cherries, I love cherries. Again, what's with the plastic? America, get rid of it. Uh, coconut flour tortillas, cause they're gluten free and I'm a gluten free baby, unfortunately. They're also vegan and paleo. Not a fan, I'm not like fussed about paleo, but I just read it, so you know. Um, organic crumbles. Let's see how that goes. It's like fake meat. Again, I'll give it a go. Almond braise, almond braise. I just went for the cheapest options because your milks are so overpriced. It's insane. And then these sea snacks, I had for these this morning as well. They have like little individual packs inside. Well, if it's the same as ones that I had this morning. And they're bomb. Like I just love seaweed. Like what a good snack. Can't wait to have the kids so that I can feed them like healthy goodness. You know what I mean? Um, and then I got some naughty stuff. So I got some gluten and dairy free mac and cheese. Oh, I actually... Oh yeah, vegan. I was like, ooh, did I check whether that was vegan? But apparently I do. Um, Chia Plus, certified organic, gluten-free, whole grain. What are these called again? Waffles. <laughs> and in the morning, I'm having waffles. So where did I read? And then it says vegan right there. Vegan. Um, they're gonna melt soon, so is this. Coconut Bliss, Mint Galactica. Vegan, gluten-free. And then I found, oh my God, I didn't even buy a cake to put this on, but that's okay, I can just eat icing. I found vegan gluten-free icing. Like, how good is that? <laughs> I, we used to have this thing in morning prayer where one of the girls would come in with jars of this, like exactly like this, but not a vegan version, unfortunately. Um, every time she had boy problems. And then there was like three or four of us girls who would just sit there and eat it out of the jar with her. <laughs> oh, good memories. Um, vegan white chalk chips. Woohoo! Excited for these. Um, this was a vegan and gluten free brownie, so I was like, well, how can I say no? Oh, it's peanut butter. Oh, see, I like peanut butter, but you guys really overdo the peanut butter here. And, ooh, try it. Caramel sea salt bites. So they said that they had my little ticks of approval, so I was like, why not? By the way, everything in O1 is like tick of approval. Like, not everything, but practically everything. So that, yeah, that was a big, that was a bigger shop than expected. But you know, I'm set. Woohoo! All right, that's it. That's it. That's my shop. That's my haul, bro. <laughs> um, yeah. I got nothing else. Bye, guys. <laughs>